Oh, greetings everyone, how is it all keeping well? It's your first time, welcome to my channel. And for everybody else returning, welcome back. These little guys look like they're a cross between a dog and a weasel. But these little guys are more than meets the eye. They have an above intelligence and a cunning of bugs, but they're certainly suited for the forest home. The bush dog comes from the Amazon rainforest and the savannas of Central and South America. They have short legs, long hair, but they have also got webbing on their feet to make them fantastic swimmers, and actually they can hold their breath for underwater for up to 30 seconds. Folks, if you're enjoying this content, please hit this like button and a sub to the channel would be fantastic. And in the wild, they're extremely elusive. They are actually genetically closely related to the beautiful maned wolf of Central and South America. By the way, if you want a video on the maned wolf, please let me know in the comments. I will have a video on another uh, beautiful animal, the bat-eared fox, coming out soon. They're also related to the African wild dog. These dogs, as I stated, are so elusive that when the bones of these beautiful animals were first discovered back in 1839 by paleontologist Peter Wilhelm, on discovery of these bones, Peter Wilhelm assumed that the species of canine was extinct. Thankfully, his assumptions were incorrect and these were not extinct, and studies have suggested that these dogs are actually extremely adaptable to where they can live, and they can live in various different locations. The bush dog has a couple of nicknames. One of their nicknames is the vinegar dog, because they smell like vinegar. The other nickname is Zorro, meaning fox, due to their reddish colouring. The bush dogs are carnivores, and when we see these wonderful little guys in Prague Zoo, they were just being fed uh, mice. They eat small rodents or go after larger prey, such as armadillos or capybara. If they go after larger prey, such as capybara, they'll do it as a pack. And that's where their intelligence comes in. Like, did you know the difference between a bush dog and other canines is? That they don't have a specific time of year to get pregnant. They can do it throughout the year. Bush dogs are monogamous and they live in packs of up to 12 members. Their offsprings will be produced by the alpha female. The gestation period for bush dog pup will be that of 67 days and the female can have up to six pups in a litter. The non-breeding group members guard, clean and carry the pups and the males will bring the female, the alpha female, food in the den. The mothers will nurse the pups and then be weaned by five months and then the pup will be fully grown at one years of age. Male bush dogs are fully mature and ready to breed at one years of age and the females are ready as early as 10 months. Sadly the lifespan of the bush dog is only about 10 years. From my research, I actually found that the oldest bush dog ever to live in captivity was about 15 years of age. Sadly, according to the IUCN, the bush dog is classed as near threatened. There are several serious reasons for this, including human encroachment, habitat loss as a result of large scale agriculture, for example, for soybeans, conversion of land into pasture large-scale planting of monoculture trees such as eucalyptus, pine, etc. Illegal protein poaching is a water threat as it reduces the prey of the bush dog. Domestic dogs that increase the risk of lethal disease contracted from domestic dogs are a border threat brought about by the proximity of the human population with hunting dogs. The amount of bush dogs left in Central and South America is, hope number is fully unknown, but it's estimated that there's only about 10,000 individuals left. Folks, if you've enjoyed this content, you might like Google's next recommendation, actually on a brace species that I've mentioned uh, of the bush dog, which is the armadillo. Hope you enjoy it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Talk to you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye-bye.